Hello everyone, it's Armstrong here from Madai Miniatures and well, since we have October, I decided to finally get back into uh, making videos and I started from printing this guy uh, I found the file like always on Thingiverse and this is gonna be one of my org buggies I started painting him but well, since I decided to make video, I just throwing him in here. I'm gonna put some sort of crew member here and maybe some grots sitting on the wheels. And uh, yeah, I think that you know by itself it's just quite great looking piece. So I don't have too much work to do to make it my own. Then I started digging through my Mm, uh, 40k orcs and I got some knobs I decided to make them with shields instead of just you know holding a gun and a cross combat weapon so I converted 11 of them my light is so bad today And you know, this one have I made a, a hammer which I was trying to uh, look similar to the Goliath hammer from um, the Cromunda. You know, all of the shields are mostly like scrap shields. Only one that I was. Where is this one? Oh, yeah, I was uh, working on this one and I was thinking about the Necron shields. So, you know, I was just thinking that this guy may have seen a Necron and decided that his uh, shield was cool and just make something similar for himself. Uh, in here, I made a Knight's kind of shield. Besides that, those guys don't really have much of conversions. If I have missing arm, I was just scratch building a mechanical arm for them because I was too uh, I was too lazy really to dig through my spare parts and find the arms. <laughs> so yeah, this one is suffering from the same condition, missing arm. So just scratch build from pieces of wire and plastic card. Okay, maybe that's better. And then, you know, since I came back to playing some World of Warcraft, I decided to build a World of Warcraft inspired shield. So basically, doors to the church, as we call them. And just two more knobs. Nothing special, but you know, at least something different for my army. And to be completely honest, I don't even know why I chose 11. I just pick up 11 and that was it. And mm, I was working on something, uh, I guess, fantasy-ish. I wanted to build a steam powered uh, something and I'm not really sure where to put this car because it is a car and locomotive and everything together it's just a mix of ideas and then I make it a trader I guess because he has plenty of stock on the roof so it might be some sort of Gorka Morka post-apocalyptic I don't know, maybe Diganops vehicle? Not really sure. But I'm just trying this with orcs because, well, it's kind of orcish. Doesn't really fit anywhere else but orcs for me. And then, probably the biggest piece I have right now. Oh, I need to move others away. Uh, I started building something that I was thinking is gonna be a Death Dread. 
and I wanted to make it a bad moon dev dread. So I make the moon and started attaching the mm, shoulders mount and the leg mount. Uh, and how you can see, I detailed the uh, body. Uh, I added some, I don't know, rockets, mm, slots, and some vents on this side. Mm, and access hatch. And I'm still working on the engine. And in here, there is some sort of a fuel tank or something. I'm not really sure exactly. And I still need to fill up this space in here. And I started designing the legs for him, but I'm completely uh, against them right now because, well, with these legs, he looks like he is on stilts, in my opinion. Just come on. There it is. They just do not really fit this model perfectly as I want. I think it, it just became too tall because of that and I'm just thinking about remaking those legs. If anyone have any good ideas, please, you know, shoot them my way. And I still have to figure out the arms. Will I go with any close combat arms or will I just go with uh, some sort of uh, shooters or uh, maybe wrecking ball uh, something like that I want to make a uh, what do you call it mm. I want to make some sort of uh, walkway on the shoulder pads and maybe a couple of grots you know doing something crazy because well we all know that grots aren't that uh, sane and like the piping I'm actually using uh, filament for uh, 3d printer and it works great uh, it doesn't require heating if you want to hit it you can but you can bend it without heat in the worst case scenario it just splits a little bit but that's all and in here those little knobs I don't know if they're gonna be lights or some sort of big rockets mounted in here, but they are just uh, what do you call them? Domes for uh, scrap booking. Okay, that's it for today. Everyone have a lovely day and please rate, comment, subscribe, and have fun with your hobby. Take care.